Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross video with me. So, since a brand new event has come upon us and it's a brand new month, uh, there are a lot of things to talk about as always. So let's take a look at what are the new stuff that is present currently in this um, first anniversary event uh, that's going on. So, yeah, uh, first of all, let's talk about this banner. Alright, so there wasn't a quick announcement made by Utah Macross Twitter uh, until much later, maybe a few hours after the thing was launched into the game. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. If you guys aren't following me on Facebook, uh, where we usually post all the Macross content, I'll leave the uh, Facebook group's link in the comment, uh, deep description below. And yeah, you can follow us there in case uh, if you want any urgent details on Utah Macross, I usually post it up there. Um, in, you know, sometimes my videos do not come on uh, online on time, and uh, yeah, it's usually the, the matter of fact that uh, I'm working a full-time job, so I can't produce content as quickly as any of the other full-time uh, YouTubers out there who are covering gaming. So it's always good to join the community and uh, let's discuss things that uh, well, it's enjoyable to talk about. So, all right, let's talk about that banner that I just showed you guys a moment ago so which is right here as you can see on the screen this one yeah um, basically what it does uh, mention is that all the divas currently during this period of time um, that the first anniversary promotion is going on all the divas if you see here they have the arrow icon beside their faces uh, have proficiency boost so if you have not maxed out your device proficiency for any of these songs, this is the time to actually play all the songs uh, and of course get them to um, max out their proficiency for that particular song. So yeah, um, the other thing that is also implemented for that banner, um, basically, all right, if you go under the event tab, as you can see it says here, you can play five times so during the period that this banner is up or rather this event um, promotional event is going on you can actually play your event songs to re uh, obtain your resource materials for your episode plays five times instead of the usual three times so yeah uh, do pardon me on this section of the video if you don't hear any music it's because well we have to mute out the original content of the songs uh, due to copyright reasons as always yeah Alright, so let's talk about the the Chaos Banner or rather the Chaos Exchange. Now, since it's a brand new month, guys, remember to purchase all the items under here for your Divas affections. These are pretty rare to come by, uh, especially if you play regularly. It's always good to purchase them. Uh, if you have enough games in currency, I have plenty of it because I'm a full time player and I play regularly. So. <laughs> Real life money is always lacking. So, <laughs> yes, guys. Yeah. All right. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the zodiac exchange that is currently for this month. As you can see, ever since two, uh, two months ago, uh, Dana has actually been implementing the two sets of five star plates that you can exchange for. Okay. The the, uh, the bottom two is always. Let's take a look at Mikael's episode plate first. All right, Mikael's episode plate is of the love element or pink element, whichever one you go by. Uh, total score for its six star evolution is 2775. It is pretty much a soul and voice episode plate, as you can see in the numbers. And yeah, uh, its center skills effect is basically the unit's total will be increased by 20% up. So it only focuses on one diva. And then of course it's active skill for 10 seconds well you will have an easier time pressing your notes. That's what Mikael is all about. He's a sniper so it's, accurate, it's all about accuracy. So his life skill basically at the 30 second mark well for 12 seconds hmm you will have an easier time pressing notes. So it is both a good center plate 
and a live skill support plate uh, in terms of accuracy in case you have missions that require you to tap a uh, full combo or maybe a certain amount of combo but you know usually that kind of missions you will probably equip an episode plate that prevents breaking of combo um, instead of accuracy so maybe Mikhail's plate is more for um, your own personal um, I would say accomplishments you know to, to actually get a perfect full combo on a particular song you know that kind of thing because you know it's easier to tap accurately on notes all right so if you can see there are the four divas there who are able to equip with the episode plate and sadly to say Mikhail's plate has no special notes attached to this episode plate all right let's move on to Keith's now if you take a look at Keith's episode plate um, of course obviously the color is there and it's of the uh, star element plate its total strength on the 6 star evolution is 2754 which is not too bad in fact it's pretty on the high end of a free 6 star episode plate now uh, its center skill units total will be increased by 20% up so it's not much of a difference compared to Mikael's uh, active skill um, for 15 seconds your damage will be uh, reduced by half then for its life skill, this is where it comes in pretty, pretty useful. Um, at the 30 second mark, for 12 seconds, you do not receive any damage. Now this is the first episode played that totally negates any damage taken you know, for its life skill. Um, in fact, any skill in fact. So this, with this effect in line, you definitely might want to consider obtaining Keeves instead of Mikael's. Now, the other skill, under its life skill, for 12 seconds, your score will be increased by 50%. Now, so it's a score booster at the same time, it's a damage negator. So with that said, Keith's episode plate triumphs over Mikael's by a ton. <laughs> but, you know, in terms of use, Mikael's is more of a mission clearer, while Keith, uh, on the other hand, is a general use episode plate. So... You might, wait, you might want to weigh your needs. Um, both plates are definitely useful in uh, either sense because both are not in the same category of use. Uh, Keith is on the hands of a high score uh, plate at the same time as you know uh, mission clearer. You know, so while Mikhail is mainly focusing more on mission clearing. So with that said, um, choose wisely. For me, myself, I definitely have a full set of Mikael, so definitely I would this time round go with uh, Keith's episode plate. So for Keith's episode plate, the four divas who can equip them are all highlighted there, and sadly to say, same as Mikael, Keith does not have any special notes attached to his episode plate. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the episode plate that is given free in this current event, um, the five star episode plate that evolves into a six star one. So if whichever ones you want to call it by for me, I go by six stars because, well, um, there is a fully evolved five star version episode plates and I don't want to get confused with that. So I always go six stars. All right, so this episode plate is of the uh, star element or the yellow element, whichever one you want to call it by, as always. And its total value is a whopping 3,018 points, which triumphs over uh, Mikael's and Keith's episode plate in the Chaos Exchange. Now, that with that said, this is definitely a plate worth fighting for because it is a very high total value. Um, its score is mainly spread out evenly on the soul, voice, and charm factors. While its center skill, if you look at it carefully, its unit total is 20% up. Now, it's pretty much the same um, compared to Mikael's and Keith's. So, uh, let's toss that aside. Active skill, what does it do? Well, it recovers 50% of your HP. Now, it's almost on par with Welcome to Walkure World in terms of healing. Um, but still, um, this current event, sadly to say, we don't really need health recovery to clear any missions or anything like that. So, this plate is definitely not useful for this event. But, it may be useful for the upcoming event uh, where missions are what you need to clear. So, usually, episode plates given on the previous event will... Uh, coincide with the upcoming events so yeah uh, keep this uh, episode plate on hand because you're gonna need it in the next event it's life skill however 
at the 48 second mark for 12 seconds your damage will be re reduced by half and then another effect 12 seconds uh, score will be increased by 50% up so this episode play is definitely better than Keeves um, but of course it's not on the same level because well the life skill uh, this one reduces the damage by half while Keeves totally negates all damage towards you so but looking at the total value of the score of the episode played uh, this is definitely better than Keeves <laughs> alright so you can see right there uh, whichever divas are highlighted those divas are the ones that are equipable with this episode played and sadly to say this episode played doesn't come with any special notes along with it alright let's move on to Chuck's uh, Siegfried or Valkyrie, whichever one you're gonna call it by. Well, in Delta, the Valkyries are called Siegfrieds, so... But overall, in Macross, all the planes are called Valkyries. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look and see whether Chuck's Valkyrie is actually useful. Alright, so if you take a look at Chuck's Valkyrie, um, it's, well, it's uh, a scout plane. If you are not familiar with what a scout plane is, basically, um, they have that radar thingy on top of them and then they, they detect any enemies from a long distance range you know that kind of thing before entering into the battle yeah so all right if you look at chuck's stats 195 attack points with a life value of 215 so chuck's plane definitely is not a fighting uh um Valkyrie because well it is a scout. A scout is meant to survive long, run away fast, you know, that kind of thing. So is Chuck's Valkyrie useful for life? Well sadly to say no. But if you're planning to face against missions that require large amount of life, you know, survive as a uh, the life with a certain amount of HP, Chuck's Valkyrie is definitely gonna be useful for such missions and all that. So um yeah you might want to consider weighing your use of episode ops to unlock Chuck's Valkyrie if you happen to be lazy during this event. If not, you know, Chuck's Valkyrie will definitely be unlockable uh, to you straight away just like that because all the episode plates given to you within the event itself, uh, if, it, if you work hard all the way to collecting the 5 star free episode plate, you will have enough points to unlock Chuck's Valkyrie just like this. So, well, um, with that all said, please do not use your episode ops on unlocking Chuck's Valkyrie um, unless you happen to be missing out on this particular event itself. Otherwise, keep your episode ops for any of the costumes that your divas um, require, the extra boost and points to unlock. If not, yeah. Um, other than that, Valkyries are meant to be unlocked um, easily. Okay guys, last bit of information before we go on to the main event of pulling the uh, gacha banner. So let's talk about the daily Nyan Nyan service mission. If you guys didn't know since yesterday, um, yeah, for those who have followed me on the Facebook group that I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, the link is in the description below. Do join us there in the Macross community uh, as I do tend to post urgent uh, information regarding the game on that Facebook group because, well, before the day rotates and before my video comes up, um, it tends to collide in timing. So, the more urgent matters, I will post it on that Facebook group straight away. But as of today, I'm just giving you a rough idea and, of course, today's daily missions and what you need to do. Well, sadly to say, if you have missed out on that information for yesterday's missions, I apologize greatly as I couldn't make my video in time because I had work and I kind of like felt unwell so I had to rest early and had to do the video in the following morning which is now and yeah uh, so let's take a look at the new daily missions um, under the Nyan Nyan service mission banner alright so as you can see I'm on my new account instead of my main account and here in the brackets they say it says daily so what you need to do is, I'm going according to order from top to bottom. You just need to play Walkure wa Uragira Nai um, in the event song tab once and clear. Followed by Silent Hacker, same thing under event tab and play once and clear. 
followed by Silver Moon, Red Moon, Once and Clear also under the event hat. Then the last one, basically you just need to play any of the event songs 5 times and then clear them as well. So that's pretty much it. Then of course, if you take a look at it, 3 tickets, 2 tickets, 2 tickets and 2 tickets. So basically a total of 9 tickets every day from, from well basically the yesterday, which is the 30th of July, you know, 31st of July to um, well the last date is actually the 12th of August. So if you count that how many days there are, um, so 12 days plus 1, 13 days, 13 days times 9, well that's like a ton of tickets which is about 100 and um, how many is that? 9 times 3, 27, so 127 tickets um, in total. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. I, I think my math is wrong. Uh, you, can, you guys can correct me in the comment section below. I'm, 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 I, I'm a bit too tired right now to think about math. <laughs> so if I'm wrong, you guys can go and flame me in the comment section or on Facebook. I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, that's how many tickets we are getting free uh, in total from the event period that is going on right now. Uh, all the way to the end of 12th of August. Yeah, so make sure you collect them all and of course make use of them to go and uh, exchange the wonderful items and hopefully get the two episode plates within the event Kuji that's beginning in two days time from now on the 3rd of August. So that's pretty fantastic. We'll get more information of what the event uh, episode plate image will be in tonight's live broadcast uh, on YouTube and Nico Nico Doga if you are planning to watch it. Uh, it's gonna happen. It's a SP broadcast for all time across whenever a major update is uh, around the corner like the New Year's and of course like first anniversary right now. So yeah, uh, if you guys miss out on the broadcast, no worries. The broadcast crew on the Facebook group uh, me, myself included, and a bunch of other guys who are fans of the Backcross fandom. Well, whoops, <laughs> we'll be uh, recording the live broadcast and then, of course, bring it to you. Um, well, not live on the Facebook group itself. So, if you have missed out on the information, don't worry. Uh, the live broadcast will be uploaded onto the Facebook group, and of course, I will be making a video explaining the details of whatever has not been shown in the last few days on my YouTube channel. So anything brand new, really, really brand new. <laughs> so yeah, look forward to that. All right, let's move on to the gacha banner and let's talk about what uh, if it's actually worth pulling from Kanami's new banner. So as you can see here, let's tap on it. Straight away, they will advertise Kanami's new episode plate and what's so good about it. So here you can see all the details that is actually highlighted which is good for this episode plate. But let's close that and take a look at the episode plate in general. So let's go on to the main page here first. So total score 3200 which is pretty decent for an episode plate from the Gacha banners. And of course the main value is this charm of 2016 as you can see here. Its center skill, well, units, soul, and charm is increased by 45%. That's pretty fantastic. Alright, let's move on. Active skill, for 10 seconds, your score is increased by 100% up. So as you can see straight away, Kanami's episode plate is a center high score episode plate. What about his life skill? Well, um, at the 35 second mark for 10 seconds, your combos do not break. So Kanami's episode plate is fantastic overall because it's a high score episode play at the same time it is useful for missions uh maybe in the next upcoming uh, event uh, you will need to clear missions where you need to uh, clear a certain amount of combo to gain the amount of point boost that kind of thing so Kanami's episode play definitely might come in handy even in the upcoming event so definitely a must get so with that said yes this banner is worth pulling now, episode plate here has no special notes at attached to it, so that's kind of sad. So the other episode plate in this gacha banner that is very very useful to obtain, well, is this one. No, not this one. This one, <laughs> the one before it. Okay, <laughs> guys, this one, the fire bomber episode plate. Now, why? Because it is the highest total value episode plate in the game as far. 
up to this point since its release and debut. And sadly to say, well, this is not a high score episode play, but a support episode play. Why? Well, mainly because of its center skill units, so it will be increased by 40% up. Well, active skill, 15 seconds, you will have improved accuracy on tapping your notes. Life skill, this is where it comes in as a life support. At the 35 second mark, for 12 seconds, your combos do not break. So as you can see, this episode plate is more of a life skill support uh, for missions and all that. At the same time, it is a very very high total value episode plate, which will give you more points in terms of, um, well, um, high score achievements, I guess. So yeah, um, so like previously shown, when you entered this episode plate, there is no special notes attached to it. So yeah, uh, two episode plates wonderful to obtain from this banner, definitely Kanamis, and of course this one uh, for Fire Bomber 7. Uh, not Fire Bomber 7, that's 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 a special movie. <laughs> uh, for Fire Bomber itself. Uh, <laughs> I wish there was an episode plate for Fire Bomber 7. Uh, that would be pretty awesome. So anyways guys, um, I'm gonna do two pulls from this banner. Um, I did do a recording on my main account, sadly to say the recording didn't go through and it, uh, well, you don't have to watch that one because the, 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 the pools on my main account were terrible. I ended up only getting a, um, a 5 star copy of uh, Sharon Room's What About My Star, uh, which helped added on extra secret boards for the episode plate. And I didn't get any other 5 star plates from my two template episode pools. So that was kind of painful to watch, uh, but hopefully this new account with uh, will have better luck than all my previous new accounts. <laughs> I will always say this because so far all the new accounts that have started, the the luck has been terrible. So maybe this time round we'll see some better performances from this gacha banner. All right, so I won't ramble on about what you need to see uh, when it comes to gacha pulling and the animation because I've rambled on uh, more than enough from my previous gacha video so let's just gu dive straight into it. So one plane, two plane, three planes. No four, five? Okay so there is still a chance to get a rainbow box here. Oh dear lord there's no red boxes. So two red boxes. Hopefully uh, I think I have Minmei out right now on my main screen so maybe Minmei will evolve to the episode clip. No she didn't come up. So Mirage. I did get a Mirage in my main uh, account when I was pulling the gacha, so I was pretty happy. So to see Mirage again, it's always a joy to see Mirage. I, uh, she's best girl for me in Delta. You know that is not not a diva. <laughs> she is best girl in terms of not being a diva. <laughs> okay, so um, here we go. Where's the other red box? Um, yeah, hopefully no, no evolution. Okay, this is just a terrible shoot. So nothing useful as of course because it's a new account. So lots of um, new notification windows will be popping up. Yeah, so uh internet's kind of slow. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna exit out just to refresh the luck just in case. Um I, I didn't refresh on my main account recording so the luck was terrible. So hopefully by refreshing the luck it will actually be better. So second and last pool, here we go. Please give me something nice to show you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I did leave 500 stones on my main account just for the upcoming banner. Hopefully it's uh, Mikumo's or Reina's swimsuit costume. Because these are the only two divas right now under Valkyrie that doesn't have um, the swimsuit added to their costume. Oh wow! Rain uh, definitely gotten the rainbow box straight away. Um, I said straight away. Uh, nope. What? He gave me a golden up with my... No? Where's my rainbow box? So I guess... Yeah, there we go. So Minmei comes out and evolves the box. I guess they wanted to do it this way. Uh, it's not the fire bomber plate that I was talking about, but it's still fire bomber nonetheless. <laughs> okay, so I guess the rest of the red boxes won't be evolved. So I guess this is an old plate. So we haven't seen the banner for um, Kanami's new swimsuit costume. I did get two episode plates from my main account that unlocked Kaname's swimsuit costume for me to use episode on. 
But sadly to say, I don't have enough episode ops, so I won't be unlocking um, Kanami's costume via that method. So, Mirage, yay! <laughs> okay, oh, we, okay, we did get an uh, episode plate for Kanami's costume here, so that's not too bad. So, I do have a new 5 star plate for my new account to use temporarily. Um, yeah, so that's pretty fantastic. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully all the information I brought to you for this uh, video is useful for you guys. And yeah, do like the hit the like, like button and the subscribe button if you have not. And uh, if you want to share this video to your friends who are also playing with Time Across, uh, please do so. It will help uh, the community grow as well. If you guys can join the Facebook group that we are administrating. And yeah, um, don't miss out on all the urgent information for Ultra Macross on the Facebook group as well. So until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video of Ultra Macross. Until then, bye!